In this lecture, I'll give you an overview of Storage Grade Web Scale, which is NetApp's object storage platform. Storage Grid Web Scale provides on premises object storage. So you're probably already familiar with object storage from the public cloud providers like S3 from Amazon. Well, Storage Grid Web Scale gives you that object storage capability, but on premises in your own private cloud. It can also integrate with the public cloud providers as well, such as S3. So you can store your objects either on premises or you can move them over to S3. And that also allows you to run those public cloud services on your objects. When you are using it both in private and in public cloud, that would be known as a hybrid solution. It supports up to 120 petabytes of storage with up to 100 billion objects and up to 16 data centers on premises. So it's a massively scalable solution as you would expect with object storage. The nodes are installed as an E-series based hardware appliance or in software as a VMware virtual machine or a Docker container running on Linux. Client access to the object store is through the Amazon S3 or OpenStack Swift APIs. So that's what you'd expect. That's the industry standard. You can also access it through NAS protocols via the NAS bridge. The NAS bridge is a virtual machine that goes as part of your storage grid cluster. The NAS bridge converts the data to object storage format. Information Lifecycle Management, that's ILM, is a software feature that comes with Storage Grid that provides granular control of how many copies of objects are stored and where they are stored. So if it is not a very high value object, you could just have one copy of that. For higher value objects, you could have those spread around your different data centers. Versioning, worm, deduplication and compression, and at rest and in flight encryption are supported. And Storage Grid evolved from the acquisition of Bicast way back in 2010. So, as I said earlier, Storage Grid it gives you object storage capability on premises in your own private cloud. The use cases are really the same use cases that you would have for object storage in public cloud, but it brings it on premises so it can give you more control. You can also get some cost savings as well. So same kind of use cases as we would have in public cloud. So that's for media files, medical, oil and gas, Internet of Things and backup applications. This is what the storage grid hardware appliance looks like. Let's have a look at the product page. So I'll go to netapp.com, click on products, and under the data storage systems, you can see storage grid object storage is there. I'm already on the page here, so I will scroll down and you can see the different models that are currently available here. The different models have got different amounts of CPU cores and support different amounts of capacity. As usual, you can have different nodes making up the same cluster or grid as it's known with Storage Grid. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp Storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.